So I'm, um, I'm in the car, which always seems to be the case when I've got these tons of thoughts coming through my mind. Um, and I thought I would just take this moment to, to do this video. Uh, last night's gallery that Pauline and I did is just really, um, still, still sticking with me. And it brought many reminders of things that I had, um, really thought were important to do. Uh, last year, Garrett and I, my son had created, uh, the deep end and started the, the, um, podcast that we wanted to do together, which really had, we did, I think we did three, three podcasts and we just, we kind of really couldn't get it all together at the time. Um, we were trying to figure out the best way to do it. And so we kind of ended up having some technical difficulties and got frustrated and then just, um, kind of let it subside. But, but the deep end really was about, um, you know, doing, discussions that have everything to do with people coming to the deep end. Um, doesn't matter what age you are. There are many things that happen in people's lives that just bring them to, you know, to dark places. And we wanted to have really a very open discussion about depression, um, suicide, a lot of the different things that I've experienced in all of my work as a medium, the different um, spirits that I've connected with, who have gone down this road of all these um, inner turmoils. Um, and Garrett being, you know, he's 20, he's 21 now, but he had really a lot of um, insight to share um, with, you know, him going through, you know, certain time periods in his life as a kid that didn't really, you know, very smart and extremely intelligent, but just didn't really fit in to the um, educational system and the way that that school teaches and it caused a lot of depression with him and we had a very difficult time in his freshman and um, early sophomore year and then also Pauline and I have talked many times about creating a podcast that's called the insight and we had actually started this about six months ago because we really feel like a lot of our galleries that we do have such incredible um, insight and messages that come to, you know, come from spirit, from past loved ones, but also come just from our own teachings and, you know, insight and wisdom that, you know, we have learned over um, our life, but also from our guides. And last night's gallery just really reminded me to bring both of those things back and to make them happen because, um, you know, last night, uh, we, we had a, a person there and I was tuning into her son. And of course I will not bring up names or anything like that, but, but something that I, I have, you know, my household experienced, um, with having a child that doesn't conform perfectly in the school system. And these kids are very gifted and they're very smart and they're very evolved. Um, you know, it's, it's the school system. I'm sorry, no offense, don't mean it to be, but the school system is very outdated. It's very outdated. And we have kids that have far more um, abilities. They're, they're sensitive. They're, a, they're aware of the spirit world. They have, um, many of them may actually be very clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairaudient, and they have all these abilities as well as living in a time period that's also very stressful and very traumatic. And there are a lot of kids that that really don't fit in. They can't sit still in their in their desk or, or in their seat, and they they don't need to be medicated. Um, they need teachers and they need people to honor their creative side, to honor that they're not going to sit there and just completely buy and and be fascinated with the dinosaur of education that's being taught to them. 
and being shoved down their throats. And then they get labeled as disruptive kids. They get labeled as kids who have attention deficit disorder or their sensory overload or whatever. I mean, there's a ton of, I don't wanna get into a big debate about it, but there's a ton of reasons why there are some kids that have a very difficult time sitting in a classroom amongst their peers. And they're perfectly normal kids. They're gifted kids. They see the world a little bit differently than everybody else. But they're children. They don't have the intellectual development to understand and process everything that's happening to them. I can speak, um, and I know that when when we do our, our podcast, Pauline will definitely be able to speak about this as well. Being a medium, um, seriously, is is something that can be very difficult to process all those different um, abilities that are that that we have the ability to tap into and I can speak personally that you know as a kid growing up with my abilities it wasn't really always fun I mean there was you know I've, I've written about myself in my books but it's it's just yeah man I, you know, I sobbed when I rode home from the gallery because I understand this family's stress. Um, we went through it. We went through it with Garrett. You know, Garrett was my son that, you know, talked about past life stuff when he was like a year and a half, two years old. He was first starting to formulate words. He talked about when he was a big man. Um, Garrett has always been incredibly sensitive to the environment that he's in. He still is that way. Um, a highly intelligent kid, super smart kid, way beyond his years. But really, you know, for a long time in school, um, he hated going to school. He hated going to school, I think, honestly, from the time he was a little kid. But he was okay with it um, during his elementary years because he was a popular kid and he got along with everybody to the most part. And then it began to hit him as time goes on. Um, and we had we had a couple years of really having a very difficult time with him having depression, not wanting to go to school, trying to figure himself out, shutting down, not talking to us. Um, as parents, you know, Steve and I were were arguing, trying to figure out how to parent him, how to make him go to school. I mean, we had we lived a year honestly that felt like hell. Um, super loving family, but we had a hard time trying to, you know, I could completely understand not conforming. I completely, you know, I'm an independent person. My mother will say that I was a big pain in the ass when I was a kid because, because yeah, it was the same. I challenged authority. I had imaginary friends. I lived in my own world. I daydreamed. Um, I wasn't a very studious kid. And, you know, and I, and I got through it because times were different. I don't think now, if I was starting school now, I don't think I would be able to survive it either. I would probably be on so many different medications because, because everybody would label, label me. Um, I, I can't even imagine raising a child right now in the school systems. And, and I'm not trying to diss the school system because education is extremely important. But what I'm saying is that you have to you have to be able to teach all types of kids, all types of kids. You have to be able to educate gifted kids, studious kids, kids that are that are having um, trouble maybe at home and need some need someone to care about them and need someone to figure out a way to teach them and to make school fun and make school um, educational, but also really, really interesting. You know, every child can be taught. Every child has talents, every one of them. Sometimes the best ones are the drifters, are the kids that, that think out of the box. I mean, a lot of our world um, inventions and, and really amazing people are the kids that dropped out of high school, never went to college, you know, had a difficult time sitting in a classroom. So my heart was just, I felt so bad for this family. 
um, because how it all started was with my, um, just my knowing that this particular woman was struggling with, with her son. And, you know, I, and I just, my heart completely dropped because I know what that feels like as a parent. My son knows what that feel like, feels like as a kid. Um, and it is a difficult time to get through in your life. So I just wanted to kind of come on here and say that um, that is really something that I had that strong reminder when I drove home and today of just realizing that, um, you know, part of everything that I personally do in, in all of it, my events, the paranormal world that I'm involved in, um, the spiritual world that I'm involved in, everything that I do has really uh, has always had some underlining um, wisdom and insight that I've wanted to teach people. I've wanted to share, um, you know, what I've learned in in everything I do, and it really just hit me that these um, that the Deep End podcast that Garrett and I started is really important, is really important. Um, he currently is uh, streaming. He streams at night and it's kind of really cool because he has um, he has quite a few kids that actually follow his stream and he chats with them afterwards um, in kind of, you know, semi, I'm not gonna say he counsels them because he doesn't have the, the ability to do that, but he mentors them. And I know that that was something that he was passionate about that he wanted to also help kids that might be feeling like they don't fit in. What is the worst feeling in the world than not fitting in? Um, when you're in your development ages, that's like the worst thing that you can do to, to, to children, whether they don't fit in with their family or they don't fit in amongst their peers or they don't, they don't know where their, their place is. I mean, part of that is just naturally growing in life, but but the, the getting back to the very basics, a lot of our kids are really having a difficult time in this world for multiple reasons. Um, I see them when they come to my paranormal events, um, readings that I do. I love it when, when people bring their, their, their teenagers. Um, I've had many times of readings that I've done with uh, with families who have lost their children, children that have struggled and they've taken their life. And, and I've wanted to say, Oh my, you know, and I meet them on the other side and I, and I say to them, man, I wish I would have known you. I wish there was some way that you could have reached out to me because everything that you were feeling is so normal of being a medium, psychic, empath. There's there's so much that's normal about these children. And they don't know they don't know what to do with it. They don't even know how to comprehend exactly what it is. As as a medium I can tell you how bizarre it is to feel other people's pain, how bizarre it is to feel um, sensations and things in your bodies and, and emotions that, that are coming from other people, coming from either spirits that are around me or people that are around me. And I'm an adult and I'm still, and I still process that luckily because I have so much experience being a medium and doing what I'm doing and embracing it, I can understand it. But I think back of, um, you know, my, myself in times of like, what the hell is this? I don't quite understand this about me, but I always, from the time I was little, I just, I personally knew inward that I was normal. You know, I knew that I was normal. I knew that this was a gift that I that I had. So I didn't self-sabotage myself and and I didn't feel like a, a freak or that I didn't I didn't fit in. But 
a lot of kids, that's not the case. And they do feel that way. And there are many adults that, that feel that way. I have a lot of adults that come to some of my events and I, and I love it because we become, um, to some degree, it's like a family union. I, I love my clientele. I love everybody that comes and I feel very connected to them because it's neat to come to, you know, to be in my presence and we all are there with no judgment with no judgment. And I've seen people who are shy and quiet and they're afraid to speak up and they're afraid to say something about what they're feeling because in their normal life, they would be shut right down. No one would understand them. But in my world and the people that come to my events, that's your normal. You are like so normal. So yeah, speak what you're feeling. Speak what your what your senses are and what and what's what's happening with you right now because because if anything you know th these are these are really cool um, attributes that people have so anyway I'm babbling on now but I just um, I am gonna bring bring back I'm gonna talk to Garrett and figure out um, even if it's something that we do once a month um, but I think it's important that we bring that podcast back I really do. Um, and Pauline and I are going to be doing, um, a podcast. It's going to, it's going to definitely be like once a month. It's probably going to be like the first Tuesday of the month. And we, we are going to be talking about, um, basically each podcast is going to be, uh, sharing the insight that we have learned at our, at our galleries. Um, we felt it was a while back, you know, we do, we come home from some of these galleries and there are, um, there's just without, you know, it's nothing that we're going to, we're going to talk about people's personal experiences. We're not going to at all share, um, anybody's names, but there's so much that, that, that people could really benefit from, from hearing some of the, um, the topics that we, that we touch base on, um, and what our thought process is when we leave and we go home. Um, and like today, you know, still sitting with the, um, the circumstances that happened last night. So, um, you know, stay tuned. Um, I'm getting that, I'm getting the YouTube channel, um, organized, um, along with a lot of really cool things that I've got coming up this year. Um, things have been really crazy, uh, in a good way, uh, but you know, you guys will see all that stuff as it evolves. So thanks. Talk soon.